Afternoon, King of Avalon. This is night 10. How's everybody doing out there? It's Friday, about 4 p.m. for me. It's time to talk about 7.4.0. And I know that um, one of you out there commented, please uh, do a video. Again, I mean, this is a pretty complex op update, especially with the heroes, and I'll get into it. But I'm by far, by no means an expert on this. I'm still going to learn. And I think all of us, it will take a little time to really learn how do we maximize our benefit from the new update? So let's put aside the disclaimer. Yes, it is again buy to win, especially for the gems and uh, this and that. And uh, not necessarily for the heroes, but the gems you got to pay to win and all that. And then upgrade to the new gems. And I'll get into that. But um, oops, one thing, when you set your march, you know, the question is, where is, where is your... Um, your, your March configs, the three March configs. So I don't know where it is here, but it is on the right side here. One, two, three. I was like, where is it? So one, two, three. So keep that in mind. Right side of the screen, you see the three dots or three circles. There's where your new March config is. Um, in the spire, I, I didn't realize if they were giving away black horns of skein or not. I mean, if it was, I am... I just thought it was new, so I thought I'd mention that. So that's one way to get some of these to update your artifacts. Okay. Um, again, it, maybe it was already existing. One of the items you could collect from the Spire. Anyhow. Okay, the other thing, Sanctum Optimization. I'm not sure if it's an optimization or actually taking away some, some power from us, but it says that uh, the Sanctum won't be activated if you don't have any hospital. So I'm curious, Alliance Hospital or Castle Hospital? Very big difference because I know there was discussion before. Why don't we eliminate the Alliance Hospital? Because it's just so costly and you know, requires so much to, to do, take our heal our troops from the Alliance Hospital. So I'm not sure if it's Alliance Hospital or our um, Castle Hospitals. So I'm not sure if any of you out there have tried having no Castle Hospitals, but... Nonetheless, I'm not about to uh, demolish all my hospitals. If any of you know the answer, comment below. So the gemstone and heroes. Let me get into that. First, the gemstones you see here. It's the basic dream gem. Ooh, it's a dream gem. So you need 200 of those frags. And you can buy them, of course. Buy the frags, 200 of them, to update the gem. And uh, you can get them from the... Um, the event here, the honor pass. So, uh, you know, um, yeah, basically pay to win again in order to uh, get upgrade to the new gems. So I'm going to move away from the gems and get into the real big thing here, heroes. And so they have a new interface. I have to give Koa a kind of um, some, some, I don't know, some kudos. I kind of like the new layout, so we only have normal and advanced, and so there's going to be silver horns and gold horns, and yeah, so nothing new here, just the interface looks different in terms of how you summon them, um, okay, but this is a new interface change as well, I kind of like this, and I'll get into the details, because when you click on each of these, this is the hero council, the heroes that I have appointed, if you click them, it'll provide more detail. So as you see here below the benefit, you click benefit, it gives your total gross benefit in terms of all your heroes combined in your council and then covenant and it goes, let me go into the covenant. So when you go into um, here, you can click here. It has three of them, United Roundtable and Royal Return and uh, I forgot the other one. There's a third one. And so it tells you if it's inactive or active and it tells you the benefits. So you can see Royal Return, I am at level three because I don't have all of them to, to six stars. So when it becomes six star, I think it activates my fourth level here. Uh, I don't have United Roundtable because those hero I have not appointed to my council. Uh, so here, you know, we used to go to this, this little guy here, this little right here for summoning heroes. But now you can click that hero, the thing that says hero with the little helmet. You click there and it takes us into a new interface here. So I do... I do kind of like the artwork here. Um, it's kind of cool. I, 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 I like the feeling that I have from this new interface. Um, and then here you can, it, you click fragments, tell you how many frags you have of different heroes and then appoint the heroes. That's where you, if you click that, you can change your heroes. So again, to change the heroes, 
I believe you can go through this little guy right here, the helmet. All right, so here I've clicked the one with the red knight, and you can see all the, you can choose your hero, so it's a little easier. So if I were to click uh, one of the other heroes, it does give you a bear comparison, you know, with the one that's adjacent to the one. So it's easier to see what are the benefits if you appoint different heroes. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, so going back to this, uh, let's see here. So we click uh, fragments. It tells you how many frags we got. I got a few of these fragments of, I think this is a new guy, right? Aurelius Pendragon. I think he's a new guy. I don't recognize them. But anyhow, there's supposed to be new four heroes that came out. So I believe I have some frags for three of them. One of them is this guy, Aurelius. And the other is Yuji, the guy right here. The helmet. Looks like Mongolian or something. I'm not sure. And then this guy. I mean, it looks like one of the um, the, he the, the uh, portraits we could have selected. But I think this is a new hero as well. So that's that's three of the new heroes. I couldn't find the fourth. And I don't think I've received frags yet for the fourth hero. So, okay. So, those are three of the four new heroes. And then when you click your hero, you can see here. So, the question is, oh, what, what skills or what buffs are associated with each hero? So, when you look here, when you look at the skill, this is where you know now. Nothing's changed for this. And I'm going to get into something that has changed. But these are, you know, these six skills right here. They're all level 60. Uh, those are the same. It's just a different interface in terms of how we, how you can see what benefits they gives, and then uh, holy judgment. So a unique skill, and re King Arthur's troops receive the finest training, and each one of his troops is almost on par with the legend himself. So this is where it's going to take a lot of time for us to learn, and it's not so easy where we can just click it, or nor have I found it yet. Perhaps I'm missing where it is. But there is a special buff and skill that will be associated with each hero when you send them on a march. <coughs> Excuse me. So one thing when you're sending a march, this is to a tile. I'm sending it to a tile. You're going to have to select the march. And guess what? If you look at the top left corner, now you can send heroes. This gets a little complicated. I mean, sending to monsters, tiles, okay. But you're going to select the ones that can gather faster so on and so forth. Uh, that's not really the important thing. Uh, maybe when you send to Gollum, you know, you can select your heroes here. So it's very interesting. Okay. Um, again, your march configs are right there. The auto march configs. And so we can choose our hero. So when I go back to here, if I want to switch out, I think this is Lionel, switch him out. And uh, then I can switch him out with one of these heroes. So keep in mind, when you do select a hero, um, it will not be available for the march. So now what this means is you can send out heroes, different hero, two different heroes for each march. Now, I think still you're still going to get the full benefits of your hero council, your eight heroes, you know, just generally speaking. But these are each one has some unique skills here. For example, Sir Lionel, if I sent him. When troops in a march led by Sir Lionel attack monsters, because this was a march I was selecting to a monster, and I just realized there's going to be unique skills for different things, I believe, monsters and attacking castles and, and, and gathering. So you can see some of the buffs that he'll get if I send him. I'm not about to go through each one of these heroes and show each one. My purpose for this video is to give you an overview of the general changes. So here... I selected a march, and if I change, I, I guess it's gonna they, what I found is that when I select a march, it just populates two heroes. And now when I switch a new march, it now opens up these guys. And this is where I have to select the two heroes. Again, whatever heroes you select, if they're out on a march, you cannot use them in another march. Okay, so for the unique benefit that's going to be given uh, if, if by those heroes if you in that particular march. So something to keep in mind. So here, um, if I selected King Arthur's soul, holy judgment, after every 10 attacks against the enemy, troops in a march with or garrisoned in a city with King Arthur's soul will deal an amount of damage whose number is the same as 950% of your troops in each round. So this is, I mean, this whole, this is a march that I selected 
to attack a castle. So I was attacking a farm castle and, you know, if I, I don't know if I sent him on a farm or monster, it, I'm assuming it might give a different benefit. But this benefit seems to be associated with if I'm attacking a city or in a battle mode. So I, again, each one of these heroes are probably going to have something unique. So it's going to be a lot, a lot of work. So here, um, I just selected these two guys randomly. And um, now they're marching. So I tried to open another march. So I sent one march out with King Arthur in it. And when I'm opening up another march, I think I was just trying to attack another random castle. You see here, my two heroes are marching. So I can't select them in another march. So something to keep in mind. It's, um, yeah, it just changes the game a little bit. Um, and, and these benefits are just interesting. Now, there's no easy way. I think I was hoping there'd be some layout to see what are these unique benefits as each hero gives. But I think you're going to be having to go through each one, testing them out. So a whole different level in terms of uh, benefits that unique benefits that would be given by heroes. Um, so this is an example. If I selected Morian, you see here. So Bowman in a march with the, or Garrison in a city with Morian, son of Aglavale, have a 5.32 chance to attack twice. So that's an interesting buff. I mean, the Tempest Arrow attack twice. So I, I. Don't know exactly how that will result in actual battle, but um, yeah, okay. So I think all these hero buffs can be upgraded to 60. I believe so. So if they're six stars, so up to 60, that's what I'm assuming. Okay, so you can another the last comment I want to make when you do send them on a march, it's kind of interesting. You can see when the march is coming, you can see which two heroes are associated. So here when I captured the screen, it showed King Arthur. But as it's marching, it toggles Arthur and the other hero that I selected. So, yeah, wow. Um, the heroes, <clears throat> excuse me, they're not actually, um, this doesn't, to access the benefits, unless you want to upgrade to four, five, six stars, you don't have to necessarily spend, but now it's going to be more like, because I assume most of us are five, six stars and heroes. It's going to be about um, understanding the dynamic with what hero gives what unique benefit based on where we're sending it, whether it's to a, a battle monster or tile. So, yeah. Um, I hope, again, this was by no means meant to give you detail analysis of the unique benefits because that itself is a whole different video but I wanted to help you uh, hope this video gives you some um, basic understanding of some of the new layouts and dynamics that are involved with the upgrade of 7.4.0 uh, when I first got on and got the update it was um, yeah it was a it, there was a little learning curve to understand at least the basic interface and accessing of the heroes um, gemstones you know pay to win whatever same thing, similar, but the hero definitely, uh, wow, it's a whole new dynamic, whole different level. So this will add or add a whole dimension in terms of some variation in terms of battles. Okay, with that, we'll call it a day. Hope you are all having a fun weekend. Hope you all enjoy KVK. Take care. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. Thank you. Bye-bye.